Hi, folks. I told you I'd be back today, uh, or tonight, as it were. Uh, we're going to do a comparison between the Anchor Soundcore Light Q10s and the Empow H7s, which, poof, are coming up on your screen right now. The black ones are the Empows. The red and black ones are the... Uh, on course. This isn't even fair, but hey, one guy's got to wipe them other you know, comparisons where they're comparing apples and oranges. So we're going to compare uh, oranges and dirt. Although it's not as big a win as you think. All right, we'll be right back. And then we're going to do a second segment to ask you a question concerning which smartphone I should buy. Okay, folks, we're back. And tonight we're comparing, in the face off, the Impel H7's budget headphones with the sound core from Anchor uh, light, or no, life Q10s. Who do you think will win? We'll find out. Uh, it'll be pretty quick here. Okay, as you can see, the anchors are already on because I still have them hooked to uh, my little new mobile. I've been listening to them pretty much half the afternoon. Um, and the impulse are just sitting there. Not hooked to anything because there's nothing else to hook them to. Uh, which one gets louder? Winner. Which one has better bass? Winner. Which one has longer play times? Winner. These do have rotating cups, though. Which is kind of cool. You can just hang them over your ears like that, or over your neck, and still listen to the music. Sort of, you know, in your own way. Other than that. Now, as far as songs, I just picked one song to listen to. It's a theme from the Magnificent Seven. Uh, oh, older movie. Not the newer crap old they have out now. The original. Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, James Colburn, all kinds of cool guys. Dan Daly. Uh, uh, all them guys. Very cool movie. One of my favorites. And it was also the theme for Marlboro Cigarettes. The guy could come right in and his heart's going, I gotta stop and take a cancer stick. Well, that guy died of lung cancer. How ironic. But that was back when you saw cigarette commercials constantly on TV. And uh, so, surprisingly though, uh, I use Rocket Player. I turned off the equalizer, you know, to use these guys. Mm -hmm. And I left the equalizer off, and surprisingly, these are not that bad. Nowhere near as loud. Nowhere near the bass. I mean, they're not even, you know, it's like comparing AAA baseball players single A to major league players. It's like comparing high school football players to professional football players. It's like comparing guys that go fast and turn left in NASCAR to Formula One drivers. Guys that turn left and right. 
Uh, and uh, obviously, I didn't expect these to do that well, but they did good enough. Now, if you've never owned a set of Bluetooth headphones, you'll like these. You really will. They're 22 bucks right now, and you get a 5% off, which will make them $21.94. The $22.99 link will be in the description below, along with everything else I talk about, the sound course. El Jefe Reviews, who sent us these. Another plug for him. Check him out. He does all kinds of audio stuff. Uh, the version text I'm talking into. Uh... And of course, the Mi A2 we're filming on, and the Mi A3, and the Redmi Note H, which are coming up in the next segment. Uh, so, all that being said, these are $29.99. You get two bucks off right now, though, on Amazon. Go to Prime. The link will be in the description below. These are $22.99. If you've never owned a set of Bluetooth headphones, these are a pretty good deal, folks. And I got the little rotating cups. These are folding. These are good enough that you'd want to put them in a case, which I'm still looking for. These come with a little velvet bag. They'll slide right in it, laid down like this easily. And you can throw them in there. No suitcase or whatever and take them with you. No noise canceling on either one. 18 hours playback time. 60 hours playback time. Hmm. So, is there really a comparison here? Not really. So let's get on to the second segment. I'll be right back. One minor thing I forgot to mention, charge-up times. I charged these this afternoon. I've been using them for about a week without charging them. Yeah, I take a nap here and there. When I get home, I'll shoot a video, and then I'll upload it. And while I'm waiting, I'll just go take a one-hour nap. Three and a half hours to recharge. These, on the other hand, use USB-C with fast charging. Five minutes gets you five hours of playback time. And I've never run them all the way down. That's why they're still on. I'm going to get them connected and on until they go boop. I'll be right back now. Okay, now we've repositioned our tripod and everything. I will bring up pictures here in short order. Uh, we're going to get two phones when the tax return gets here, which could be as soon as Wednesday, which means, hey, they might be here by Friday. Maybe both, maybe one. The Mi A3, you know, is in stock, out of stock, in stock, out of stock. It's actually a more expensive phone right now. So I'm leaning towards getting a Note 8 first. I don't know why I'll be able to afford both. And of course, the uh, DJI Osmo uh, gimbal, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Uh, so, one has a, the Mi A3, has the 720 AMOLED display, which I did a video on a number of weeks ago. You can burn up an AMOLED display if you're not careful. And you can get burned in. You gotta be careful with it. You gotta make sure, don't leave it on too bright. You know, set adaptive brightness. And hopefully be as clear and as sharp as my new mobile uh, G3. That's a 720 and most folks can't believe it. The Redmi Note 8, and these are both from Xiaomi. <clears throat> Redmi is just a sub-brand. And uh, 
it has a 1080p. Okay, it's a little taller, maybe that much. And but it does have a rear fingerprint reader and no damn notch. While the Mi A3, it puts a notch in there and the in display fingerprint reader. Meaning I'm gonna pick it up, turn it over, because I ain't using base unlock. Not on any phone that isn't a Google Pixel 4 or an Apple. All the others are not secure. I think Huawei may have one out there that is. Uh, let's see. So, what I want to know from you, which one should I buy first? Which one do you want to see a review on first? Because you're going to get the inevitable comparisons afterwards. Uh, the Redmi Note 8 has one more camera. It has a macro lens, which... Uh, I can't imagine any reason I would ever use that. But the... Oh, and the front-facing camera on the Mi A3 is 32 megapixels. And, like, this one has a 20 megapixel. It's a pretty decent shooter. And, uh... The, uh... Selfie cam on the Redmi is only a 13 megapixel. So you tell me. They'll both shoot 4K at 30 frames a second. They both have supposedly have EIS somewhere in there. Catch you in the next one tomorrow. Like, share, subscribe, and tell me which one you want to see. Redmi or Mi A3? Note 8, Mi A3. Rear fingerprint reader, Kimiki front fingerprint reader. Your choice. I mean, I may order both on the same day, but they may come a day apart. I'll try to do the one everyone wants first. Thanks for watching. Later.